everybody good morning good afternoon good evening whatever time of day you're watching today sasha here we are in day 26 of the month of matcha again we're drawing to a close but we're keeping the train rolling so today on the steeping block we have one of the flavors of matcha that i am really excited to try it's david's teas mint matcha I love mint. I love the sensation, the cooling sensation that the menthol properties have. It really can clear your sinuses and ah, I just like the cooling taste of mint. So without going too much into detail, um, I'm just going to explain, you know, how I made my mint matcha so here on the package it says 1.5 teaspoons and i'm wondering if that's like a regular household teaspoon or their matcha teaspoon i found that odd i mean i can't tell i'll bring it in closer and put my finger next to it. Hopefully you got it on camera. But. I only put in one perfect spoon. So. Mines might be on the weaker side. They also didn't mention. Um, nowhere on here. For. How much that 1.5 teaspoon. Um, is supposed to be. Dissolved in liquid wise. Usually. They say 16 ounces of water. But. That's on the weaker side, in my opinion. So, um, I do, you know, you know, I do eight, but, um, yeah, typically eight to, like, 12 ounces, I, I suppose, with my bigger mugs. Um, they have a exact temperature, which... Unfortunately, I don't have that, I believe. 165 Fahrenheit. Oh, wait, no, I do. I do, but I did the green tea setting, which is 175, so... Yikes. Hopefully, it doesn't taste too scorched. <laughs> but, yeah, I didn't see that. I just went with the green um, tea setting on my kettle. Because that is... 165, I believe... Well, it doesn't have 165. It has 160. That's the delicate setting. So, yep. That's good. This is going to be interesting. Um, whisk. Of course, this takes place of the whisk. So, I did it in the matcha maker. And it has medium caffeine, which is good because I need to wake up. It's sort of kind of early, but it's not really early like nine o'clock here so all right and um the ingredients are coconut nectar matcha green tea natural mint flavoring and for those of you that are allergic to coconuts you want to steer clear from this as it has the coconut nectar oh fun fact this matcha maker is actually mint a mint matcha maker that's their mint coloring so i thought it would be appropriate no this is the working one that i have um ready to use Ooh, that mint it's coming out though and then folks when i open up the package the mint is definitely there which i'm very excited because it was tingling my nose which is a good thing so here we go, bottoms up. Okay, okay. Well, all right. So the mint is definitely present. If you like the taste of mint, you know, you're going to love this matcha because 
there is a cooling sensation, which is ironic when you have this hot, you know. It's like, I guess, theoretically drinking icy hot. Don't do that, folks. But, you know, the warm temperature of a regular made matcha and then the cooling sensation of the mint, it's interesting. I'll say that. Um, sweetness. It is pretty sweet. Well, no, not pretty sweet. I don't want to mislead with that statement. It's, you know, got a low level of sweetness, but it's present, which is similar to the maple matcha that I reviewed last week. And that, you know... It's sweet enough that I feel like I don't need to add any additional sweetener. But I'm really tasting this for the mint. I'm not necessarily looking for a sweet drink. That, With that being said, I'm going to go ahead and hand down my verdict. All right. So in the case of David's Tea's Mint Matcha, out of my rating scale of good okay bad i rate this as good i would even say great i would even put this up at my one of my top three flavors favorite flavors of matcha um i love that the mint is ever present natural you know, the cooling sensation is there. Um, it's almost like if I were to dip a York peppermint patty, sort of, but, you know, there's no chocolate. If I were to dip a York peppermint patty or even just have a peppermint candy in my mouth and drink matcha, that sort of deal, it's just the sweetness is dialed back. Like, you're not... This isn't, like, candy sweet, but it's got a natural hint of sweetness that I think lends itself well to the mint flavoring. But yeah, folks, this is one of my favorite flavors. And then I believe I like, like, honeydew, mint, and maple are up there. Well, maple, like, I don't know, I'd have to do, like, a side-by-side -side with the maple and the vanilla matcha because those two, like, they're, like, perfect sweet, you know, matchas to have. And, you know, it's just, I know honeydew and mint are, like, top two for sure. But to make it, like, a traditional top three, I would have to... You know, do a side-by-side -side with the maple and the vanilla and see which one I would really like. But there you go, folks. That's going to do it for... Oh, you know, I keep forgetting to say Tuesdays with a T. It's Tuesday. But yeah, it's also Tuesdays with a T and um, day 26 of the month of matcha. Again, thank you all for tuning in. This is pretty cut and dry, but, you know, I got the point across, and I'm trying to work on getting more succinct episodes rather than rambling on. So, y'all know the drill. Any questions, comments, suggestions, or small talk, don't be a stranger. Leave it in my comment section below. Any and all are welcome. Greatly appreciated. Uh, love to hear your thoughts and opinions on mint matcha if you've ever had. If you've ever had mint matcha from another company because I know mint matcha is, you know, it could it's easy to do. Like, David's Tea usually comes out with the exotic flavors, but mint something that can be easily incorporated by other companies, I feel. Um, I believe... T Forte 
may have a uh, mint matcha and like you know some other lesser known companies by me that um do flavored matchas they may have some mint matchas so yeah let me know um if there's a different matcha that or mint matcha that i don't know about or is mint matcha uh one of your good flavors or you don't care for it yeah just let me know in the comment section and folks i will see you tomorrow for wellness wednesday and day 27 of the month of matcha so it's another double feature so you get two videos from me that day and yeah they're both gonna be um you won't see me um tomorrow in the video so i'll just be recording off my screen uh just as a heads up if you're <laughs> wondering about that but i know tomorrow for wellness wednesday the samsung health app tour is finally said and done with so look forward to that and then also um i'll leave i'll leave it up to a surprise I already won't be on the, um, in the video, like, physically for day 27, but we'll see what I have in store for then. All right, folks, so take it easy, make it a great day today and every day, and I will catch you tomorrow. So, until next video, bye now.